Hey guys, making this video to show you how to uh, install Craft IRC on your bucket server and uh, also a little bit of how to configure it and get it connected and even how to register the channel and make all that stuff work. So gonna kinda go through the whole the whole process here. So first things first, you need to go to the forum post for it. You can just Google it. You can go to bucket.org and just search Craft IRC. It's going to be the first result. Or here is the link and I'll probably put it in the description. Anywho, uh, once you've got... Uh, well, basically you want to download this uh, Craft IRC version, whatever is out right now. Uh, currently it says 1060, but this does work on the 1.0 versions of Bucket. Um, works perfectly fine. Um, so you'll download this jar file and you also want to download this config.yml and you might have to right click and save link as because sometimes it'll just try and open it in the browser which doesn't work out too well yeah like this so that or you could copy and paste all this into a new uh, yaml file but um, that's annoying anywho so then you want to open up uh, FTP or however you put files on your server or uh, SCP or SFTP or whatever you do, um, terminal, whatever. Uh, and you need to go to your root bucket folder. So wherever you've got craft bucket, then you're going to go to plugins and you're just going to drop craft IRC in here. I've already got it in here. And then you want to go to the, uh, then you need to create a craft IRC folder and drop that config.yml folder in there. And you actually I'm not sure if it matters, but uh, you want to match the caps of the uh, the actual jar file. So capital C and then capital IRC. Let's go over registering a username for the bot. Okay, so briefly, these are the commands that you have to run to uh, to set up your username in the channel and get it so that you're automatically opt in the channel. Uh, which you'll probably want to do for your bot. It, I guess it really doesn't matter if the bot's an op, but it's handy. So, uh, all of these you can type in uh, to any window that's connected to uh, Espernet. Um, so, in my case, I can open up this, uh, you know, I've got the bucket chat open here, uh, and I could type in the commands right in here. Oh god, that was way... <laughs> that was not what I copied. Uh, there we go. So you can copy that in here, and you just uh, register your password and your email. Now, if you're already already logged in to Espernet as yourself, then you won't be able to run these commands directly because you're already registered and you've got the wrong username. So what you'll have, actually have to type is uh, let me add it to the top here. Um, Slash msg nick serve log out and then you uh, will have to type in see and this is where it gets tricky because you have to log out but you have to change your nickname as well so um, you'll probably have to join a channel or something but basically you have to type in nick and then whatever your bot name will be and it has to be something that has not been registered. And then once you do that, you can type in uh, slash msg nick serve register the password for the bot on the IRC server and your email that you're linking to the bot, which again uh, will have to be a different one than you used for your regular account. So once you've typed this in, it'll send you an email with another command that you'll have to send back to them to verify the account. And it is a very simple command. There you go. It's just a slash msg nixer verify register blah 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 whatever. I was trying to show you that because it's got my actual register uh, key, so I'll have to block that I guess. Anyway. Um, once you do that, you're now verified, and you can now create your channel, which you could do at any point anyway. And actually, before you do it, you have to do slash join channel name. So once you join the channel, that creates the channel. If it's not already created, if it is already created and registered to someone else, then obviously you can't uh, register it to yourself. Um, so no, you join your channel. 
and then you run this command, which will uh, register the channel to whatever name you're currently logged in as. And then last but not least, you run this channel, or run this command, um, blah, 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 replace chan name with your channel and IRC name with your, uh, your bot name. And then this basically says auto op. And that'll make it so that as soon as you sign into that channel, when uh, off as the bot, which the bot will always off itself, uh, it'll become an op automatically. So once you've run all these commands and hopefully got no errors, then you are good to go. So let's finally set up this config file. So this is the default config. Uh, so let's just sort of scroll around here and actually and turn off word wrap. That's going to get annoying in here. With it this big. Okay, so you're just going to scroll down until you find the section for bots. So you want to change the nickname to whatever your bot's nickname is. And it has to be a nickname that's registered to your bot. Um, by default, just the username that you auth with is your nickname that's registered to your name. And you can see it defaults to Esper. User ident, this is what you actually registered as, which in this case is the exact same thing. Server password, uh, this actually doesn't matter. That is if you have to have a password to connect to the server itself, which you don't, for irc.esper, you don't actually have to have a password to open a connection. You just have to have one to off as yourself. Um, okay. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Craft IRC bot. All right, so this you want to change. I believe this is what actually uh, shows up in game for the uh, the bot's name. Or it could be something completely different. Anyway, all right. Now this is where you actually do your uh, uh, your authentication here. So this is where you type in. And you would type in your password here. And if you want your bot to run, well, I think I already said this, but if you want your bot to run a command when it starts up, you put that there. All right, channels. This is where you tell it to join your server or join your actual um, your network. So we type in my server name there. If you have a channel password, or sorry, channel name. If you have a channel password, um, you put that in there. If you have a specific admin channel, you set that stuff up here. Um, and that is it. So once you're done, you just save and you can load that. I'm not going to save because I've got my real one here that I'm going to save. And we should be good. So now I'm going to go ahead and go into my Minecraft server. Multiplayer. And the intro music is incredibly laggy right now. Um, and then you want to type in reload all. And what you should see, in theory, is that your bot will uh, join that channel or join the uh, join the IRC room. So let me join that and make sure he's in there. And I see him in there, so let's say something. And you can see it just showed up in game. If I type something in game, it shows up in here. And that is how you set up uh, Craft IRC. You can see the actual setting up of Craft IRC isn't hard at all. It's just getting the username and the channel and getting everything registered. That is a bit more challenging. So. Anyway, hopefully I didn't uh, make the registration too confusing, and maybe you guys can figure it out. So, enjoy.